This video explains the functionality and features of the John Deere E23 transmission in manual mode, which allows the operator to select a gear and maintain full throttle control of the tractor. The modules available to the operator are max speeds and set speeds. Set speeds can be viewed on the transmission and run pages but can only be adjusted using the set speed adjusting wheel on the transmission control lever. Just like in custom mode, the performance module is available to the operator. Eco performance allows the operator to set two minimum engine operating speeds. The performance module also allows the operator to select custom settings to tailor the transmission to a specific application. Custom settings allow the operator to adjust engine speed droop along with PTO, hitch, and SCV load anticipation settings. After a gear is selected manually, the transmission control lever is bumped forward or backward to upshift or downshift the transmission. Activating the efficiency manager using set speeds improves fluid efficiency in manual mode and allows the tractor to automatically control the throttle and change engine RPMs. The tractor will upshift or downshift gears to maintain the desired ground speed based on current engine load. There are multiple ways to adjust the set speeds while operating in manual mode. Two separate programmable ground speeds can be set in forward and reverse. To change the set speeds, remove the tractor from park and place the transmission control lever into neutral. Then, select a set speed button. The efficiency manager will become active as indicated on the corner post display. The set speed adjusting wheel on the transmission control lever is then used to dial in the desired ground speed. Once the ground speed is determined, move the tractor into gear. After a set speed is activated, the efficiency manager shifts gears and changes the engine speed to reach the selected ground speed. An outline box appears on the transmission module to show which speed is active and the efficiency manager indicator light is visible on the corner post display. Maximum throttle position is required to efficiently reach the desired ground speed. Engine RPMs will increase as the tractor makes automatic adjustments under changing loads. The set speed adjusting wheel is used to adjust the set speed value while the tractor is in gear. The efficiency manager remains active when the transmission control lever is moved between park and the forward and reverse gears. The corner post display shows when the efficiency manager is engaged and the set speed that is currently active. The efficiency manager is deactivated by bumping the transmission control lever forward or backward to upshift or downshift the transmission. When the tractor is moving in a selected gear, the set speed can be adjusted. The last set speed is outlined by the command center display. The operator can use the set speed adjusting wheel to dial in the desired ground speed. The efficiency manager is activated by pressing the set speed button. Press the active set speed button again to disengage the efficiency manager. When the efficiency manager disengages, the engine RPM will change to match the current throttle position. This may cause engine RPM to increase and the tractor to quickly shift gears to match the current ground speed. Using the Efficiency Manager will help to improve the tractor's performance. Additional John Deere videos are available on how to set up and operate the other transmission modes.